Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to share project. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Adobe Premiere Pro and you want to share the project later, click the free trial option. From here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Sharing an Adobe Premiere Pro project is a simple process. All you have to do is once you are ready with the file that you wanted to share with your um, team members or maybe to your client, that, which is particularly helpful if you are a part of a collaborative environment. Now, in our case, we are working in a Deep Labs YouTube channel production. So we are a group of individual freelancers and clients that handles all the back ends of the creatives and one of the best way for us to collaborate is using the Premiere Pro. So what you can do for you to be able to share this project is go to the file section that's going to be found on the top left corner and click the project manager. Now from here, all you have to do is choose the sequence or the project that you have been working. You can collect the files and copy to a new location if you want. You can consolidate entrance code, all of these to a different uh, file formats, sequence, individual clips, or presets. So you have all that options. You can choose from any of the following formats, quick time or this, and the preset is going to be this one. You can also include all of these. Check the appropriate boxes that you want to be part of the project that you want to share later. All right. And of course, remember the destination path. If you want to change it, click the browse option. And of course, the disk space available is this. You want to make sure that the uh, it's enough to store projects if you're working with um, a video production, especially in our case in deep labs. Now, if you click the resulting project, if you click the calculate, it'll give you something like this. And all you have to do is click the OK button. Right, so save the project file and then I'm going to go to my Google Drive, all right? And I'm going to drop the project files that I have saved earlier. You see that one? It's kind of easy. And then once it's saved, just wait for it. You have the option here on the more actions. All right, manage the access we're in. Of course, just click the, uh, anyone with the link can add it or um, view and put in the name of your client or your team members. All right, and that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.